Not it. Thanks. Now then. Um... It is strange, no? Perhaps... Hey. 
Are you serious? <laughs> Hey. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I got it. Yep. I can't see anything! It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! Uh, everyone, calm down! Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. That's about it.
よ。Hajime.
All right. Hey, what are you doing? What am I doing, you say? Um, we're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Under the floor? Why? Who said it was futile? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder. I think. So I thought... It was important to check it. I see. See? Hey.
Nope. Yep. Sorry. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. Bye now.
I shall tap the central island of Jabberwock Island. There is a mountain with my adorable face carved into it. That, my friends, is Monokuma Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey! Ah, uh, 
way, no way, no way! Stupid! Begin with a during the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. S such a cruel rule. Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? Most definitely. Such a sad state of affairs, isn't it? By the way, this class trial is gonna be 100% fair. I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Well, not as much as I hate Monami, of course. You hate me that much? Now, let me... You're telling us to begin. No complaining, let's just settle this with our fist. Were you even listening to the rules? Didn't that Byakuya bastard get killed in the dining hall, huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Yeah, yeah, what you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. Huh? What does that mean? Anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Huh. The most pressing issue on our minds? Where we found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. Then, let's start with that mystery.
was Byakuya's body in a place like that? His body was underneath the table at the very back of the dining hall. After the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body there. Huh? Why? Obviously by hiding the body. They tried to delay its discovery! Like a dog burying a bone! Why was Byakuya's body in a place like that? His body was underneath the, the very back of the duck. After the killer murdered Biak, they probably moved the body there. Huh? Why? Obviously by hiding the body. They tried to delay its discovery like a dog burying a bone! Why was Biak in a place like... His body was underneath the very back of the dining hall. After the killer murdered, they probably moved the body there. No, that's wrong! the killer moved the body. Huh? Why? Try to remember what the body looked like when we found it under the table. Though there was a lot of blood everywhere, there was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through it. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. Oh. And he Too bad you're so stupid and... I respond better to praise, you know! But if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? Byakuya was probably killed under the table. What? You think he was killed under the table? So Byakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown. Then, shortly thereafter, we found his body under the table. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? Obviously, he was hiding so he could surprise us. The hell he was! Hmm. Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he'd dive under the table. The reason why is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, don't you think? I can prove it with this! It probably has something to do with the knife we found under the table. Knife? Oh! You mean that thing that obviously screams, I am the murder weapon! Byakuya probably noticed the knife was hidden there, so in order to get it, he moved under the table. He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items, so I cannot deny that possibility. But how did he notice that there was a knife under the table? If he knew beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Then, instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Like, for example, he might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. No, that's not possible. What? You s of course. I have proof to back me up. <laughs> this is almost like a real trial!
sure Byakuya ducked under the table during the blackout. That sounds correct. If that's the case... During the blackout, Mr. Ham Hands... must have seen the killer take the knife. But it was super pitch black! It was so dark I couldn't see my food! Byakuya couldn't see in the dark either. No, that's wrong! No, Byakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Why do you say that? He was using those night vision goggles we found under the table. He could have seen what was happening. So... Are you saying Byakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Yeah, that seems to be the case. Your reasoning is out of focus! No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. The other way around? Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not Byakuya. Just use common sense. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. If you just see the killer obviously used those night vision goggles, that's gotta be it. Where's your proof that the killer used them? Because if they used night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality. That's so those goggles were planned in the day. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Because if they used night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality, that's what happened. So those goggles were planned in the day. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Damn it! If you just see the killer obviously use those knives, that's gotta be it! Where's your proof that the killer used them? Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark! I mean, in reality, that's so those goggles were planned and if the killer brought them to the crime scene! Damn it! If you just use common sense, the killer obviously used those knives, that's gotta be it! Where's your proof that the killer used them? Because if they used them, they could have killed Byakuya even in the- I mean, in reality, so those goggles were planned and the killer brought them to the crime scene! Because if they used night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even if I mean, in reality. So those goggles were planned. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Because if they used night vision, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the I mean, in reality. So those goggles were planned. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Allow me to cut through those words. No, Byakuya was definitely the one who brought those night vision goggles. Definitely? But why? Inside the Duralumin case Byakuya had with him during the party, we found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumin case as well. 
Woohoo! I said assume! Plus, Yakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case, since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. Then, was that knife inside the case too? If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. It would be weird. I am weird, aren't I? At times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about tonight's main dish. Ew! You I see! There was duct tape left under the table where the body was found. Huh? Duct tape? They probably hit the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the tape. Oh! So that's why we found duct tape there. Though Byakuyo was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. This may be off topic, but why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case too. That's true. You now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. He probably knew. Someone was planning to commit a murder. Are you saying he predicted the murder? You think so too, right, Hajime? with this everyone can you please hey the he hajime and i found this in byakuya's cottage it looks like a threatening letter someone sent to him so who's the someone nobody besides monokuma would write such a dumb threatening letter like that wasn't me are you sure the only lies i tell are free Lies. Those are still lies! Doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So, Yakuya became paranoid because of this threatening letter? He probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. What do you mean? By gathering everyone in one place, he tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. In doing so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. But the letter might have been just a little prank. As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. His strong sense of responsibility made him believe the letter was legitimate. Uh, he should have told us he received a threatening letter. If he had, we would have panicked. Byakuya probably knew that too. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? I see. Strong sense of responsibility as our leader was his other duty. Screw that noise! Well, obviously. <laughs> Enough already! If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place! Um, pardon me. What is it, Miss Sonia? I regret that I must return to this topic, but I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? You're right. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. was the mark. With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. In actuality, the knife we found under the table and the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint, right? Does that mean the killer painted them in advance? The painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. They had to have already known. That's why they used the glowing paint as a mark. Which means whoever set up the blackout is the killer. 
killer. That seals it. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. Which means it was you, Peko Pekoyama! <laughs> Peko killed poor Byakuya? Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? Not the killer. Oh, I guess she's not. How can you believe her so easily? But with Peko's height, I don't think she'd be able to reach the circuit breaker in the office. I don't care about a technicality like that! the blackout at any time! That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the car, not even before the blackout. What happened to your guard duty? Sorry. Oh, you weren't? That's clearly a desperate excuse! Since Pekka was in, she could have caused the black... That's impossible. Huh? Why is it Because I was not in the office, not even before the blackout. I agree with that! No, I think Pekka was telling the truth. Mm hmm, don't tell me you're crushing on Pekka. It's nothing like that at all. Nikomaru's account is actually Pekka's alibi. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started. And it was finally freed up, after Byakuya's body was discovered. Uh, then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekka. I... I guess that would be... true. You locked yourself in the commode? There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. If she locked herself in the bathroom for that long, there's no doubt. It's shit. <laughs> hey, weren't you guys taught any basic manners? Oh. No, I'm sorry. It's fine. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? Don't worry, the smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom right after you, so you can trust me. I said it's fine. But still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom. Hey, how did it feel to do your business in the dark? Did you get excited? Seriously, stop it. But still, your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. <laughs> I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. Stop this childish nonsense. What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? Laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? I see. That might have happened. Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it, you brought food to the office just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you? Taro Taro cooked the food! I, I wouldn't do anything like that! Laxatives would ruin the taste!
Did you eat anything weird? Now that you mentioned, he brought Boo to the office just a little bit from the There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? No, that's wrong! No! It's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. Because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate that food. Akane ate some of it too. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. I feel totally fine! Like I said, the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. I apologize for causing the scene. Fuyuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. What the fuck did you say, bitch? There's this bickering. Let's just dismiss Pekko's stomach ache as a coincidence. Yeah, yeah. We already know that, you trashy skank. You don't have to tell us. Trashy skank? Breaker, and how did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm a fuck. Did they throw a stone and hit it? Maybe they used the remote control. They could probably invest with the breaker. It does not have to be. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Or maybe they caused a power surge? I agree with that. It's just as Mayuru said. The blackout was caused by a power surge. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it. Intentionally. Which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. When you found them right after the blackout, the irons were still on, right? So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Yeah, it seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. Stupid fool! Hold on a second, let me... What the heck? You say the irons in the storage room? used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable! If the irons in the storage room caused the and for the killer to turn the iron, you're saying they went all the way to the store, and that means everyone who is when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the dining hall weren't if the irons caused, then the killer had to go to the store and turn on the iron! Now do you intend to take back what you said? But the people in the dining hall weren't if the irons caused the blackout. Allow me to cut through those words! The irons are just one reason the blackout occurred, but they weren't the direct trigger. The direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. The air conditioners! The timers for both air conditioners were set to 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m.? Mr. Ham Ham's died around that time, too! I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. I see! I understand! Indubitably? They probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance and used the irons to nearly max it out. So once they set the air conditioner's timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. If so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout, indubitably. Indubitably? Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Dun dun dun! Is she right? Such a hateful bear! You deserve to die a thousand deaths! A thousand, you say? If I died that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? Shut up! You I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. Even so, I feel regret. If I was in the office, I could have reset the breaker in time. No. The breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible. 
Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. It's all right. You don't have to worry. Because they're just a petty killer, right? There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. In the end, hope always wins. N Nagito? W what happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Oh, is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. For now, we found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. What are you implying? He's just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? Fortunately, it's the truth. Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. But that might be because there's no way any of us could be a killer. You, you're changing your story again? Anyway, I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? Doesn't that mean... Are you saying we should all just give up and die? Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. <laughs> You guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. Suspecting each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. I... I don't want to do this either. <laughs> me too. Please, take me home already. <laughs> I want to go home and eat candy! Stop it. If everyone acts like this, I... I'm gonna... Everyone calm down. We're all friends, aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. Then why did Byakuya die? Who cares? Let's just give up already. There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. Not a single one. That's wrong, I think. Did you say something? Guys, we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. You know who the killer is? The killer? I don't know. But we do have a clue about a suspicious person. I think. I see. Then care to tell me? First of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. No, not that. I mean, before that. Let's try examining the situation. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here it is! desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. The desk lamp? I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. There was a blackout. There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. I can prove it with this. They didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. Power cord? They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table and use the glowing paint to find the knife. And there's only one person here who could have done that. Ooh. You're 
the only one! Nagito, it was you, wasn't it? Me? Judging from everyone's positions before the blackout, the only person near the power cord was you. Which means, the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was... Nagito! <laughs> That's just a coincidence! But still, you had a chance, right? A chance to hide the knife under the table? I see! Nagito, weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? If so, you would have had a chance to hide the knife. That's... If you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning, you're the only one who could have done it. Seriously? That's all just a coincidence! If it was just one coincidence, it'd be fine. But when it's one right after another, I wonder... Is something like that even possible? Could it be? Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? Now that you mention it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. You rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? I don't know if you're the killer or not. Regardless, it proves that you're suspicious, right? If that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier, that was part of your plan, too. You got us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it, didn't you, you motherfucker? Well, just admit it already! Nagito, tell me you object to this. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. We investigated together. You were so kind. I can't believe you're the one who killed Byakuya. Nagito, say something! <laughs> the Ultimates are working together to combat the despair of their friend's death! Uh, how wonderful! How beautiful it is! Huh? To the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. And of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone, right? Uh, is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? But I never expected Byakuya to have night vision guns. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. And, well, you all saw how that played out. With a twist ending like this, I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery. <laughs> Byakuya performed it admirably. Just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? Don't tell me. Is this your true nature? Lie? That's outrageous! There's no way someone like me could invite you guys. I understand better than anyone else. Too arrogant to have dreams or cling to hope. Too disdainful to actually try at anything. I've made peace with the fact that I'm a low, stupid, insignificant hero who can't do anything right. Holy crap! He's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood pets! He seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th. Just like me. That's quite the hobby you have there. Hey, Nagito, if you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep, I sure did. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at, right? But why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? I think 
somewhere deep in my heart. I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. Well, I bet if that really was my reason... At... Are you making fun of us? By threatening Yakuya, Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions. the office. Oh, I get it. If Paco was guarding the storage room, Nagito wouldn't have been able to use the irons. The threatening letter, along with all your suggestions, was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep, that's true too. But you're wrong about one thing. Huh? I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. Well, there's no way I'd expect you to remember it. I see! You're the ultimate lucky student. Then, did you? That's right. I just trusted my luck. You just relied on your luck? It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky, but it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. Enough. That... I don't care about that anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed... Oh, the despair breaks. It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. That was my only motivation. You're not making any sense! Fine. Let's start the damn vote already. I'm ready to fucking kill this site. Please! Monokuma! Please, wait! Huh? The fuck? Um... 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 How should I put this? It is... Um... What are you saying? He's already confessed, hasn't he? I already know that, but... There's just something a little strange. If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. <laughs> um, for now, might I suggest we listen to what she has to say? But we know who the killer is. Simply listening is acceptable. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Nagi, he killed Byakuya with a knife he did. No, that's wrong. That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say, right, Mikon? What the hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. But based on the entry proof on Yakuya's body, the actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? Hey, that better be true. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse. <laughs> Not a whorehouse! Hey, why are you threatening her? Is this what you're trying to say, Mikan? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. What are you saying? No one else can be the killer. Hey, 
Don't blame me. Mikan's the one who said it. I'm sorry. Hey, Nagito. Are you still hiding something? Uh, hiding? Like, during the blackout. Did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Who knows? After all this, what else do you intend to hide? Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off! What happened during the blackout? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Ugh! If you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision! Don't get distracted! Huh? Seriously, how long is it gonna take for you to understand the damn rules? Nobody can see in the dark. No matter how hard you think about it, the truth is beyond your sight. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? Despite the fact that it came from me? No, that's not it. Not it? What's not it? I can prove it with this! Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark, I'm pretty sure someone could have heard it. Isn't that right, Ibuki? Oh, real? You were the one who told me, remember? Uh, everyone, calm down! Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W oh, wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth. However... After hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the dark... What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! It almost sounds like... Byakuya fought back against Nagito or something. Well, that's actually what happened. As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. He shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. That's right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this Ow! After getting shoved out from under the table, I was just as confused as you guys. I lost sight of the glowing paint. And I didn't even know where the power cord was. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on. Miyakuya's body was lying under the table. Oh, hold on! Are you saying you're not the killer? From the very beginning. The idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout. It was all going according to plan. But unfortunately, my plan failed. What happened after that? Even I don't know. You failed? Th then you're not the one who killed Byakuya? Then we're right back to square one! How can that be, Whiskey? But, but you can't give up. You need to have hope. Do your best and move forward. Rising to the challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. No.
You're so evil! Knife isn't the murder weapon. There's no definitive proof that I'm the killer. Sh shut up! Y you say you were shoved away, but you can't actually prove it, right? That's right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion. B but there's another reason why I don't think Nagito is the killer. There's still more? Based on what we've discussed, Yakuya was killed under the table, right? Is there something wrong with that? Well, even if that's true, I feel Nagito looks, you know, clean. Nobody's ever complimented me on my appearance before. I'm not talking about your looks. I see. Say something like, why didn't Nagito have any bloodstains on him? Yes, th that's it. Because under the table, there was a lot of blood splattered everywhere, right? There were even bloodstains on the inside of the tablecloth. If he stabbed Byakuya to death, it's strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate amount of blood. I didn't get any blood on me. That is weird. You just used something to block the blood, didn't you? Something that might have been used to block the blood splatter. Hmm. I guess we did see something I could have used. Isn't that right, Hajime? I can prove it with this! You're talking about the bloodstained tablecloths we found in the storage room, right? If there are bloodstains on it, that settles it. Nagito used the tablecloth to block the blood splatter. But that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there after the murder? You mean after the lights came back on? What would he have done if we'd seen him? That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big. So even if you tried to hide it and take it with you, Wearing a tablecloth, going under the table, getting a knife in a blackout, and stabbing someone. That's not just impossible for someone like me. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you guys too? Then what does it mean? Maybe the killer didn't necessarily stab Yakuya under the table. No, there's no mistake that the murder occurred under that table. Even the inside of the tablecloth was bloody. But that doesn't mean where Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are the same, right? I don't understand at all! Huh? That's your point. You look like you're on to something. Really? It sounds like a riddle. I feel like I'm on to something. Under the table, but not under the table. Moving forward. We should put his-
The killer must have stabbed Yakuya from under the floorboards. The floorboards in the old building are full of gaps. If they stuck the weapon through one of the gaps, they could have stabbed Yakuya to death. If so, that means the killer was able to get under the floorboards. I don't know that yet. You're the only one! Hey Gunda, you dropped your earring in the dining hall, right? Referring to the Hellhound earring? About that earring. I said. About that Hellhound earring. You dropped it beneath the floor, right? <laughs> just a bit rude. However, it's just as the old legend. Is it safe to say that? Huh? Could it be? Gundam wasn't wearing it. And if he had it on. Then that means Gundam was able to retrieve his earring from. So. <laughs> it's understandable, but I am different. True. This is the evil fourth eye. Before the might of the evil... What should I do? Oh! Fine, I shall tell you all. The answer was in the storage room. One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen beyond the chaos. A secret passage of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. After securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. And as a result of that lonesome battle, <laughs> there he goes, blabbing about power and crap. Anyway, it sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. And that has to be how the killer did it. If the space beneath the floor is empty, it's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. I see. If they pass- The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there- Stab! 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 <laughs> Sure. You don't like stab, stab, stab? Should it sound more fleshy, like? I'm not talking about your sound effects. You're saying they snuck under the floorboards, but that means they would have had to leave the party, right? So, was there anyone who was able to do that? Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. Who wasn't at the party again? I didn't participate, but I was guarding the entrance. Remember? Yes. This Monami over here is your witness! I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further. But... I was unable to leave the bathroom. I was in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. Um... The only... Judging from the photo I... It obviously has to be him! Saying, I'm oh, really? What happened to the tough guy who was saying stuff like, I can do it? Don't mess with me! I'll fucking kill you! See? You're making threats again. Yep, yep, that's right. Things are starting to get exciting! Nobody saw you! That means you have no alibi! The culprit is self-evident. During the party, the killer was lurking under the f- And they could have stared at without going to the store- Is that true? Will you- Don't act like I'm the fucking- But when the party started, nobody saw you, you know? That means you have no alibi!
culprit is self-evident. During the party, the killer was lurking under the floor like a cockroach. You could have stared at panties without going to the storage room. Is that true? Who you don't act like I'm the fucking. But when the party starts, nobody saw you, you know? That means you have no alibi. No, that's wrong! No, Fuyuhiko definitely has an alibi. Um. Oh, you're right. I saw Fuyuhiko after the party started. You should have said that earlier, dumbass. It's still your fault. Like, why were you even lurking around the old building in the first place? Sh Shut up! Maybe there really is a secret passage to go under the floorboards from outside. What'd you say, motherfucker? Oh, no! <laughs> wow, he got chewed out, but he looks super happy. Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Then someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. During the party? It was probably during the blackout. Well, if someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. But walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict without any eggs. You're right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness. But is it really impossible? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. It was super dark, you know? There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. It appears with the blackened or the spotless. The hallway was... Yeah. Moving to the storage room like... It's like making a seafood bowl with a... Is it really not possible? What if they use the string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision cup with a pain. I'm gonna go... What if they used the light? It definitely sounds impossible. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that. It's like making a seafood bowl. Is it really not? What if they used a string like the cord? Crap! The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Making a seafood bowl? Is it really not possible? What if they used the string? Maybe there was another pair of knife with a pain. I'm gonna go. What if they used the light? I agree with that. You know, the killer had a light with him. Oh, I was right. But where could they have found a light? There was one nearby for sure. See, it's written on the kitchen's equipment list. Portable stove. Portable stove? The portable stove isn't powered by electricity. So, the killer used the portable stove to move from the hallway to the storage room during the blackout. I see. I never considered the portable stove. But there's a hole in your argument. A hole? What kind of hole? Oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. It's really not a perverted joke. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> Repeating yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Now then, Hajime. No, that's wrong! Will you be able to break through my argument? Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? 
I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the off was because the hallway was dark, right? So if the light was shining in such a dark hallway... Crap! The reason Kazuichi couldn't see was because the hallway was dark. So if the light was shining in such a dark hallway... Wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Allow me to cut through those words! Nagito, did you forget? Or are you just pretending you forgot? Huh? What do you There should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Plus, the hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. I see. To actually notice the fire door. Just as expected of the ultimate... Oh, you still don't remember your talent, do you? Who cares about that right now? Nagito, what are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. You sound so scary. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? You sure like to piss us off. Hey, it's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. More importantly, can you hurry up and decide who's the blackened already? Fine, I get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me, to show themselves. <laughs> You're obviously the killer, right? If you think I am, I really don't mind. Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, I will accept it. About. Terry Terry's the killer? What are you talking about? There's no way! Of course, that's simply my assumption. So if you have an objection, please speak free. Uh, objection or not, why am I being treated like the killer? Because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen. That's it? That's the... You're cruel! Cruel! Ah, Terry Terry. That attitude is so not like me. For the ultimate cook to get so upset, call me shit. If you fall to aspersions like this, who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? The, the future of the culinary arts? That's right. For the f You're right. Yeah. So what's an aspersion anyway? Did you know asbestos is yummy too? Nagito, why are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light, and that they moved to the store. It's dark under the floorboards, too. You're not gonna say they shined the light on Byakuya, right? That's right. What do you think about that? That's... There's no way you can answer, right? You personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. If that's the case, then Gundam should know. No. Unfortunately, there was nothing related to the incident under the floorboards. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness. What? That sounds super important! If there was a shiny mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? And in doing so, it might have been possible for them to use that mark to target the victim.
I can prove it with this! The mark you're talking about is the glowing paint that was applied to the knife, right? Ah, by using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab even in the dark! I see! The killer didn't target an actual person, they just struck the moment the glowing paint moved! That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife! So, the killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Well, Teru Teru! Seriously, I don't know anything. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? You again? Now, now. We should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. And just what did he boot he hear during the blackout? <laughs> what the? Ow. Turn the damn lights off! You guys? Where are you? She heard. Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? That's right! But Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So, why was he in the dining hall? I, I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen. So I panicked and ran out of there. Of course, the hallway was dark too. Well, it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying down, making their stick. So, if you want, we should try and make him move. No way! But I heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall! That's right! Teru Teru was in the dining hall, not the storage room. No, that's not it. Well, why do you have to keep falsely accusing me? It's not like I want to blame you. I just... You should be so proud of yourself, Hajime. Now, Roger, show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? Let me ask you again. Did you go to the store? There's no way I went to the store. I was somewhere totally- I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. Let me ask you, did you go to the store? There's no way I, I was somewhere totally- I definitely heard! It's handsome! Maybe it was recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice! Right, as long as I- The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be- I'll shoot through that contradiction! Just because we heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Huh? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. But, 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 but. I see. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining hall. Is that true, Teru Teru? <laughs> Hold on a second. Can you explain this, Teru Teru? I told you to wait a second, ain't I? Yeah! What are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you I was in that there dining hall during the blackout. Where are you from again? Ooh, I was born in West Asafu and raised in South Ayuyama. Hey, you guys! This guy's a major liar! If Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned, right? Well, I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Was Teru Teru actually there during that time? I, I sure was! I was there the whole damn time! Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut instinct. Damn right! You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your hazy memories! His accent is getting even worse! He's definitely lying! However, I am not sure. No! Why don't we consult his memories? Ah, say I don't be saying things like that don't make no sense! Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? I probably can. Oh, 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 you again!
can prove it with this! If you're claiming that you were in the dining hall when the power came back, then you should know how Mikan was positioned at the time. Right? Whoa, what? No! Don't make me remember! No, this is a very important question. Well, Terry Terry, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Huh? Huh? It was a pretty clever way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it so easily. Um, huh? Uh, huh? That's weird. Just slipped from my mind. There's no way it would slip from your mind. Especially not a pervert like you. Uh, uh, Nagito! Say something! I guess you might have to give up now. Wait, give up? What do you mean, give up? Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Well, hold, hold on a sec. Don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. Huh? But it's already decided, right? No, 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 I can't understand him anymore. It appears he's saying... You understand him? But it's such a sad defense. Oh, you calling me the killer? Then where's the weapon? Come on, Manumi. Enough with the whimpering and translate. Um... He... Weapon, huh? Judging from Kakuya's wounds... Also, if they stab from... After all this... Not good enough! Not good enough at all! He said... No. Fine, I got it. Wanna do it? Wanna do it? Um... <laughs> what a confusing accent. Yagiyo was confiscating all the dangerous items. He spoke to Terror Terror. So that missing iron skewer is the weapon? An iron skewer would match up with the wounds perfectly. Hey, Terror Terror, where'd you hide the iron skewer? Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh! random shit to fuck with us. This school trip has a no littering rule. Island sirens? Also, 
I was on guard duty, and I never once saw Teru Teru leave the old building, which means... He obviously put it somewhere in the old building. It's probably the kitchen again, right? Teru Teru? Oh! Oh! of meat on the bone. <laughs> what are you saying? 
That's clearly impossible! Impossible. That's what Bianca and I thought. That's why we overlooked it. But in fact, the only place he could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Out of all the dishes you prepared, the only one that can meet! What now? I'm using my right to remain silent. There's no way that exists here. We need to confirm this now! So if we eat that tasty looking piece of meat and find the iron skewer inside... All right. Monokuma or Monami? One minute. Wait, now hold on a second. Time out, time out. What are you doing? Uh, about that. Huh? Wait. I'm right here. Oh, a bear that eats meat! Wait. Oh, now, damn it! I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life! This, this is bad! My, my! Look what came out! Isn't that? Is that? Check it out. The handle looks like it's made of bone. The sword of destruction, encased in bone and sheathed in meat. As expected of Teru Teru. You're wrong. I'm not the killer. I'm not the kind of person who would kill someone. I got it. You all set me up. Jeez, such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Hey, Nagito. I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? Kisa, you're off. You, you don't need to translate anymore. I guess we need to settle this. To do that, we need to go. So.
that happened in this case. Let's try going over the whole incident. Yakuya had us gather in the dining hall at the old building near the hotel. He was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night because of a threatening letter he received. Therefore, he decided to throw a party so he could monitor us. Though one person didn't come, the rest of us assembled at the dining hall. And, but at that time, the trap. They plugged three irons into. Additionally, they prepared some. The air conditioners in the office and dining room. Thanks to the irons maxing out the power usage. Since the windows in the old building were covered, the blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness. But when that happened, Byakuya took out a specific item that he brought in his case. That item was Byakuya when he put on his... He saw Nagito guiding himself with the desk lamp's power cord. That's right. Everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder warning to Byakuya. While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, began making their move in the kitchen. The killer probably already knew about Nagito's plan. That's why the killer prepared all the items they would need to commit their crime in the dark beforehand. They needed a light source, which was provided by the portable stove in the kitchen. They needed a weapon, too. The long iron skewer used in the churrasco dish. The With the weapon and portable stove in hand, first, they closed the fire door in the hallway, so... Then, guided by the light, the killer headed toward the storage room. That's right, a tablecloth to block the blood splatter. With this, the killer finished their preparations and snuck under the floorboards through the secret passage. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point, or left it near the entrance of the door. The floor in the dining hall is full of gaps, so there's no way they could have safely held a light source. But thanks to the glowing mark they painted earlier, under the table, Yakia found the knife that had been hidden there. If only he had retreated, he probably wouldn't have gotten killed. He had to retrieve that knife. The killer lurking beneath the floorboard stabbed straight up with the iron skewer. The killer had been waiting in the dark for the moment when the glowing paint began to move. After they murdered Byakuya, the killer 
purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to make it seem like they were still in the dining hall. Afterward, they came out from underneath the floorboards and rushed back to the kitchen. And then, after hiding the murder weapon in the kitchen, there's only one person who would have been able to commit this crime. Especially if that person is someone who'd think of an unexpected way to hide a weapon inside food. Isn't that right, Teru Teru Hanamura? That's what happened. How up the this is a mistake. Would never. It seems. to the nerve-wracking voting time! Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote! Oh, just a reminder, make triple sure you vote for someone! If you don't vote, I'm gonna eat you up just like that meat from earlier! <laughs> Who will be chosen as the blackened? <laughs>
I will guide you all. Right. Right? Man. <laughs> Great. Impossible. Shut up. Shut up. Hey, hey. I'm going now. When I come back, I think we should talk again about opening an Aoyama and Azabu location. Oh my, you're still talking about that? Oh, I'm serious. So, I know it's gonna be difficult by yourself, but wait for me until then, okay? Yes, you're right. Then I'll just have to do my best to keep the Hanamura Diner from going out of business until then. Mom, you don't have to work so hard. What if you collapse again while I'm gone? I'll be fine. Moms are strong. I won't lose to some illness. <laughs> I, I know that already. That's why I need to go home! <laughs> hey! Damn it! Wrong! That's why I wanted to go home! I... Fine, fine. I'm sorry. I think I'm the one who went crazy. <laughs> so, yahoo! You can't. Jeez, get out of my way. <laughs> well, now. Oh, wait. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! Hey! P please! Let's give it everything we've got! L lies! I won't believe this! Mama!
Let me ask. Youth. Well? Perhaps. I am sorry! Yes. Like... <laughs> Jeez. Well? Right?
Is someone watching me? Thank <laughs> you.